Hello, and welcome to the Pay It Forward podcast, where we speak to payment experts from around the world. This edition is sponsored and done in collaboration with Payable, and we're filming it live right here at the Reflex Festival in Cyprus. And joining me for this first episode is none other than Igor Skechkov, who is Payable's own Chief Product Officer. Hello, hello. Hi, welcome, and thank you for joining us for this podcast. Thanks for inviting me. It's Not- a pleasure. Not a problem. Of course, considering that you are the chief product officer, we thought there's no one better to actually come in and give us a little bit of flavor of what you've been seeing in the industry with regards to payment technology. Yeah, true, true. Um, I, I really can explore a lot of things Payable is working on. And I can tell you that uh, uh, it's the it's right time and right place to, to do this because we are uh, on the verge of, of delivering new new products, new features in the coming year uh, and al- already this year. So it's good that we meet and I can really uh, give you an overview of what's happening around. 100%. Let's get to it. So if you don't mind, for the listeners who don't know about you and your 10 years plus experience, do you mind starting with an introduction of who you are and your experience in Paytech? Yeah, sure. Um, so I've been working in payments for the whole my career. Uh, I didn't plan this like that. I just started and I liked it. And then I was working for a smaller payments brand. And, and then after joining Visa, I realized how payment universe big. Uh, And then uh, after working at Visa, I work in different uh, players working from the different side of of payment uh, ecosystem. For example, payment schemes, wallets, uh, payment service providers, acquirers, buy now, pay later providers. Finally, I was working at Klarna where I gained a lot of experience uh, working as a product manager and uh, uh, understanding the user experience importance in the product development. So finally, I landed in Payable and I enjoy working here because Payable is a fast growing company and uh, in payments, I think we are doing something which which is uh, uh, trending, which is important right now and, and which is uh, really helping companies to uh, to be involved in this payments ecosystem and get financial services. I mean, trending is definitely the word and the numbers on Payable has been quite fantastic, noticeably fantastic. In your opinion, as someone who understands the full suite of products, which products from Payable have been most popular and instrumental to its growth? Yeah, so Payable uh, has been in the market for the the decade, I think. And then uh, it all started with payment acceptance. We've been doing online payments, being a principal member of Visa MasterCard, and this has been always the core of our offering. While in the recent years, we started to diversify. And then we added uh, banking services like payment accounts, transfers via SEPA and SWIFT, payment cards, and many more. So we connect a lot of alternative payments around the world to support card payment acceptance. So we create a a full suite of of, uh, financial services in one place. And this is our strength, while, as I mentioned, all started with just payment acceptance, as many companies uh, did that time. One of the big things that everyone is talking about is which trends and which technologies have made the most impact in their field of work. If I asked you that question, what would be the top three examples? Yeah, you know, uh, I think that uh, the trending now is the embedded finance, you know, uh, I think this is the future before the banks were offering uh, payment services, financial services, whatever like uh, services a bank could offer, like deposit, uh, loans, money transfer, foreign exchange. Today, there are companies that can offer it. But what is more important, these companies can share these services with other players who do not have any license or any experience in financial services. Basically, now this is trending. Companies start embedding payments, deposits, loans, whatever services into their offering and make it better all together with their product to the end consumer. So what is happening that there is financial world is merging with the uh, product world, Pro- the consumer apps, uh, merchant websites, uh, marketplaces, everything is using now uh, embedded finance. The other, uh, the other technology I want to mention is open banking kind of part of uh, embedded finance, let's say, but it's a separate topic which 
which is trending right now. And uh, together with the, the instant payment development, this is a huge potential for allowing uh, money to move faster, like instantly. Between today, it's, the money is moving between the consumers in the same country, sometimes between the consumers in, in, in the different countries, but soon it's going to be an instant payment ecosystem worldwide. And I think this is, this is going to be huge. That would be ideal because, I mean, no matter how much innovation we've done already, and we have done a lot, there's still these really big inequalities within payments. I'm talking transaction time, I'm talking fees, open banking. It's uh, certainly from a consumer part side, we do think, come on, when are things gonna get right? Yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's a huge potential sitting right here, right now in, in, in Europe, in the US, in the Asian markets and uh, innovation is, is uh, happening every day. So we will see uh, a rise of uh, super apps. I can say that uh, super apps are prominent in the Asian countries, mm -hmm. while in Europe they are not so popular because of many differences. It's a cultural difference, it's a legislation difference, and there is a, uh, uh, like the reason for this also that there are big players, very strong players, who are vertical players and do not, uh, do not like contribute to development of super apps because they are interested in consumers uh, coming to them instead of using them as part of a, a, a bigger super app yeah. experience. Okay, well, thank you for that. Now, if you mind, what is your overarching vision for Payable's future development? Um, you know, uh, I think that the world is moving towards simplicity and convenience. And uh, all the services we provide, they are not like super new. They are in trend. They have been provided for years, some of them just emerging, but overall the payments uh, are, are super convenient and uh, the companies like us need to continue making them even more convenient. And uh, the idea behind our product development is to create this uh, ecosystem where you can take whatever you want, integrate it fast, start using it and start getting uh, revenue like in a couple of days, maybe weeks, depending on the complexity of the service. But uh, I think we will focus on convenience. We will focus on uh, diversity of payment methods, payment rails and, and services. And this will be the direction our platform will be uh, like going forward. Fantastic. And if you can, are there any exciting updates about Payables future products or maybe new regions that you're going into which you could mention on the podcast? Yeah, so basically the, the, the future product is not actually a product, it's a combination of our products. So we call it Payable One. This is the platform which combines all the services we have. And uh, within this platform, we accommodate all our services together. But it's not that all the services are sitting in one platform, but separately, the services are really connected to each other. For example, you have a website where you accept payments and Payable is settling your payments to your bank account. Oh, but this bank account can be opened by Payable. It means that the money that Payable is selling is settled to your bank account with Payable and you use this money within the Payable ecosystem. So you can settle with your partners, you can make foreign exchange transactions, you can issue cards and spend this money using cards. Basically, we, we provide you all the services you need to drive your business. That is going to be very exciting. And I think quite a few people and companies around the world are gonna be excited when that comes out. Igor, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thanks a lot, thanks a lot.